Mark chapter 15, verse 34. Then at three o'clock, Jesus called out in a law voice, Eloi, Eloi, Lima, Sabbathasian, which means, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Good Friday. It's hard to see what is so good about Good Friday. For many people, are going to be gathering together on Good Friday. Some are going to watch The Passion of the Christ, which is a hard movie to watch. But it visually shares with us, visually brings to our eyes what we read in the Bible, and that is Jesus' crucifixion, Jesus' punishment, Jesus' uh, journey to the cross. Very hard to watch. Very hard to see. But through that darkness, through the tragic, we can see there's good in there. God had a plan. God had a purpose. God had a reason. And that reason was his son. It goes back to John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, whoever believes shall not perish, but have everlasting life. The question is, do you believe? Do you believe? We weren't there. We weren't there. But there is eyewitness accounts in the Bible. And those eyewitness accounts in the Bible share with us what happened during that time in Jesus' ministry. They recorded what took place. They recorded what they seen with their eyes. They recorded what happened at the cross. What happened on the hill. Again, for someone taking punishment, someone taking uh, just the, the pain, the agony, which crucifixion in the Roman times was very painful, very agony. But we see through it all. If you, if you and I sit down and read the scripture, or watch Passion of the Christ, we'll see the pain. We'll see the agony. We'll see the love, the grace, the mercy that God had. One thing to note in John 19, verse 30, Jesus says, It is finished. It is finished. Meaning that his purpose, his mission was complete. God had a God had a plan, a purpose, and that started with his son. Now, Second Corinthians five twenty one shares with us that Jesus lived a sinless life, and yet he went to the cross. He went to the cross for you, for me, took the punishment for your sins, for my sins, for the whole world on the cross. Because God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Question is, how do you feel when you think about Jesus taking on the punishment, taking on For yours and my sin. How do you feel? Now the question is, for some of us, are still thinking and wondering, what is life like with the relationship with Jesus? For many of us, as brothers and sisters in Christ, we know what our life was like with Jesus. We know what our life was without Jesus. Jesus. 
And yet, we need to share that with everyone else. How Jesus comes into our life. And surely, we could see the difference. Mark 15, verse 37. And this is the Good Friday. Good Friday, we see that then Jesus uttered in another loud cry and breathed his last. And then the curtain in the sanctuary of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. When the Roman officer who stood facing him saw how he had died, he exclaimed, This man was truly the Son of God. The curtain was torn. You see, in biblical culture, the temple had a curtain where only the high priest can go through. High priest can go and present some offering, present sacrifices. And at this moment, in Scripture... The curtain was torn. The barrier was broken. Meaning that the invitation for you and me to approach the Father is there. In fact, John 14 says, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except through me. And the me part is Jesus. Not a veil, not a barrier, not a wall, but Jesus. To know the Father, we need to know Jesus. The question is, are you ready for the invitation? Are you ready to take a moment today, Good Friday, to think and reflect why Jesus went to the cross? To think and reflect while he's what he did for us at the cross to think and reflect how much God so loves us even if you don't have a relationship with Christ God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life amen good friday